What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Howdy viewers, Rad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment posting another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Now, this series of videos takes place after the first shall be last, which I did a while back. And it starts this series of missions called Pouring Forth Oil. And it starts with a conversation with John. And it's a multi-part mission. I will post each part separately. But this is part one where you have to steal an oil uh, wagon. And, well, it's a lot harder than you think. My first attempt is actually the one that is recommended. Uh, you just climb over the fence. And you got a few seconds before they start shooting. You grab the wagon and you ride out. But you want to grab a weapon to fight, which can be a mistake. My next attempt is what I would call the sniper mission. And yeah, well, I kind of things didn't work out quite as I had anticipated. Instead of the double-barreled shotgun, I grabbed the carbine with the sight and I tried picking off a guard and fighting the guards and it just didn't work out too well. My next to final attempt was what I call the tower sniper method. And I was just going to shoot everyone and using the carbine rifle. But it's amazing how many people are around there and trying to overwhelm you, even with stimulants and tonics and all that other fun stuff. Yeah, things just didn't work out very well.
My final attempt is what I like to call the direct method. And, well, I simply walked up to the guard and threatened to rob him. Once he reacted negatively, well, things managed to work out. I thought quickly, took a stimulant, and, well, like I said, things worked out. Just calm down. Money, tough guy. That worked, but there is now a hole in the barrel, and it's leaking oil. And I got to get away, but these guys pursue, and, well, things aren't working out very well. And of course, you want to kind of loot the bodies because that's a good way to make money in Red Dead Redemption. Unfortunately, some guys come along. God damn it. 
Now it's time to make a quick getaway, but even that doesn't work out very well. Since looting the body got me into trouble the last time, I'm not going to. God, I'm spilling oil like crazy. But I gotta get the wagon to the destination. And even then, it doesn't work out very well. And the destination is really close, but I don't see it. Once I get here, horses are really hard to park and maneuver. Yeah. It sucks, and it doesn't work out very well. Yep. Horses don't have a reverse gear, you know that? Once you smash the wagon into the wall, you can't back it up. Yeah. Now, thankfully, it did return me to a spot where the wagon is repaired and I can bring it carefully to the place where I'm supposed to park it and hopefully not screw that up. And, yeah. This could go badly either way, but, well, we'll see how it works out. Every time. Gee, those horses would have been really nice to sell, or at least take one to ride back to my horse, which I forgot. There's a stable nearby, and well, those two horses could have made me some money, but I digress. This is part one of pouring forth oil. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up icon. Leave a comment. I love responding to comments as long as they are nice. Otherwise, I will delete them. Uh, if you like this type of video, I post four videos a week and you don't want to miss out. So hit that subscribe button and bell icon and you will be notified in your home page when I post a video. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, thanking you for watching, thanking you for hitting the like button and leaving comments, thanking you for subscribing, and thank you for stopping by.